And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Crimson Mentality. Going to be our next deck up here today. Uh, we played this deck the very first day after the new patch, so a week ago from today, and it was a fun one, and it was surprisingly good. You know, we did we did pretty well with it. Um, I don't remember our, our exact record, but I remember we had a winning record, and and I just liked how it played. Uh, basically, we're playing all these Crimson cards, um, the Aristocrat, the Disciple, the Curator, and the Awakener. And they can get you some some decent value, especially the curator, you know, generating random crimson units in your hand, so you can get more of them, and uh, and everything. But but basically, they're they're not um, they're not always strong enough to finish out games, because you know you can only get six units in play, and if you know all your all six of your units are just you know like two twos and two threes and three threes and stuff like that. Um, Especially how they're not like real aggressive, you know, they don't always take over, um, and so, so that's like the half of the deck. And then the other part is is adding pack mentality to it, because pack mentality now the new pack mentality is just seven mana, give all of your allies plus two plus two and overwhelm, and so that gives us a finisher to our deck. You know, like when whenever we're going wide with our crimson units, it allows us to finish the game, giving them pumping them up and giving them all overwhelm. Um, um, yes, there's drops again. I was just explaining that. Sorry. Um, uh, anyway, sorry, sorry, those y'all on YouTube, but yeah, so that's, that's our deck. Um, we got some other stuff kind of in the deck, you know, like we got Braum, Vladimir, uh, you know, we can make our creatures larger with hearth guard and everything like that, but um, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's let's play some games here. We're gonna play some ranked. Um, so yeah, if you're experiencing lag drops, it will be done in five minutes. It's just how it is right now with my internet company. I'll I'll try calling them tomorrow, see if there's anything they can do about it, but it's, I doubt it. This is a pretty good hand. The Nivea Thresh. Yeah, this is a, this is a pretty good hand. We'll just keep it. I don't know how impactful Brahm's going to be against Anivia Thresh. So I want to play Braum on turn three and then have Aristocrat pump up the Braum instead of pump up Crimson Dis uh, Disciple. Let us get going. Okay. So that this basically means like if they you know playing Bra means uh like they're probably deciding if they want to play their unit or not. Playing Bra means I'd be able to attack it. Now we have two options. I can attack for two or I can just end turn and then they waste the three mana. Um the only way that that would be good for me to pass is if they actually had something they wanted to use the mana on. Can I? Can I? 
Can I trade two damage for three mana? I think this this deck that we're playing against, there's too high of a chance that they wouldn't be using that mana, but it's very possible that they will will play something. Okay, that thing's almost done. It says it has one minute left now. Oh, do they just... Do they just actually disconnect? Might have disconnected. Alright, if you're still having problems, refresh. Should be done now. Oh, wait, actually, five seconds. If they don't play a single thing, I don't... I guess I just don't count this as a win if they just don't play a single thing. <laughs> they tried to stream snipe and timed out due to the drop frames. Perfect plan. This first game was kind of a waste of time. I do think Avalanche is pretty good in the metagame. There's a lot of aggro decks. And so I do think that being able to play Avalanche is, is pretty good in this metagame. Um, yeah, it's difficult to upload all the videos after the stream is over. I mean, maybe I'll have to do that. I guess I guess I can upload them all at the same time, and then they just all get uploaded at the same time. Basically, because at that point, it's it's just really late at a few things. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm not going to count that one. A few problems. One, I, at first, I didn't realize that you could upload them all at the same time. Um, but yeah, I, I upload them right away because if I upload them all, like, you know, like that's like at the middle of the night whenever they're being released, basically. Um, so like, I like putting them out in, in spaces, you know, like 
being it so like people can still watch it you know in their afternoon or, or evening depending on where they're at at least Darius and it's like timing wise I, I don't feel like it'd be good if they're all released then uh, but I, I also thought that you, you could only upload one at a time, but I think you can upload all four at the time, because I know, like, before, I, I assumed I could only do one at a time, and I, and I just wouldn't, I couldn't stay up that late, you know, because it takes a while, to, you know, it takes, like, an hour to upload a video or, or whatever, like, to actually have it finished processing. Like, we just did the upload part, and then it processes for a while. And... So I figured that... Uh, yeah, like I, I couldn't stay up that late like it's because it's late for me But if I upload them all I Could you know, maybe stay up that late for doing that Yeah, the media uploads are, are convenience also it's a like convenience on me to not stay up real late it's convenient for other people to have them upload because and then also whenever they're uploaded to to youtube it takes youtube about an hour to change it from being 360p to get to 1080p but yeah like so like that yeah so it's Half a game, yeah, half of the first game of, of the 10 game run that's affected. And it, it hasn't been affected before the last like week. The last week it's been really bad. It, it's just, it's, I think it's with everybody staying home. It feels like it's been particularly bad recently. Because even before, like, that that took, you know, like, however long that took to upload, it doesn't usually even take that long to upload. Good time for one of those avalanches. Try to understand. I like you don't. Time for Thomas to be friends. That was even a really good card for him. There's nothing to fear. Wow. Wow. Let me change into something more. Come together. Uh, that, was, that was pretty great. You 
are safe with Rob. I'd ask your name, but I don't care. They may kill Braun. Which would be sad. Yeah, like, you know, if they have Brothers Bond, like, stuff, like, they've had such a great hand so far, it's it's hard to, I can't really play around everything. Yeah, what an amazing, what an amazing game for them. Crazy. I'm not sure how much I mulliganed. I feel like I probably should have mulliganed more for Avalanche. No, Vlad decks aren't really bad. Come closer. I don't bite. Oh, I can't wait. Come here, darling. Look what you Hey Necros, thanks for stopping by. So you're a fellow Ruterra streamer as well. Uh, when, when are you normally streaming? We're gonna level up this Vlad that we don't have pretty quickly. Four out of six. here.
Okay. So there. I got that Elise to die. I could use another one of those. Like, I could use, like, the Crimson Curator. That could be nice. I pull the strings. Spitter out from the darkness. What does this archetype need to be more competitive? Um, it's a good question, and I don't know the answer to that question. Um, things that come to mind are like just card advantage, um, card advantage, and interaction. Um, you know, like. Like elusive decks can be really difficult. Basically, have like avalanche, and that's about it. Sounds of prey. Speaking of Avalanche, that was a pretty good one, though. Sure, waste my time. I don't care, Jake. Was Vladimir leveled up? Yes. Is. No, it doesn't really need ramp. No, it needs card advantage and interaction. You know, like we see my opponent drawing all these cards. Interaction for aggro, card advantage for control. We have a little bit of each one of those, but not really enough. I wonder what their plan is. You're late. Mm -hmm. Knew you'd wait. They're a ruination deck? I had not seen ruination in this deck. Obviously, I was trying to set up pack mentality. Got completely blown out by Ruination.
Thanks, Necros. Rom has survived six damage. Okay. Be grateful. Seven damage now. I still have a whole lot of cards over there. <laughs> Dang it, Rasa? have these awesome top end cards not even expecting ruination and rasa this is the this is where pack mentality can be bad though if you have if everything dies it's not doing anything That was a good draw. Great game plan against my deck. Don't know how good those cards are going to be against aggressive strategies, but against real slow decks, that's a, yeah, a great game plan.
<laughs> Reporting in. All right, this this may not be our day. Two drop was a good draw. Gave us something to block here. Pack mentality is a horrible draw. The party has arrived. Finally, someone with class. The pleasure to see you too, my dear. I'd ask your name, but I don't care. They have spinning axe that can pump this up once. If they have vision in hand, then I'm out of luck. Deck. That card's cool. You must teach me when you have time. I'll think about it. <laughs> sure about that? Run while you can. Of course I'm ready. Dang, these boom crew rookies. Why do they have so many of that card? Yeah, Rune Terror is a great game. You better bleed. So what do you think of legacy instead of mentality? Uh, yeah, I don't. I think this. You know, yeah, I wouldn't want legacy because this deck doesn't make more than three. You know, more than three of anything unless you get like lucky with curators. No, I think I think pack mentality is the way to go. But also, with that being said, I think that maybe playing three pack mentalities is wrong. I think that maybe it should just be two and not three. Looking for some action, Ed? Blood exists to be pumped, no? Let's make it deep. I'm glad they're playing that right now. Worst case scenario is they have another one of these used cask salesmen. Well, I mean, that's a pretty bad scenario also. Oh. Yeah, the pack mentality was changed. Group meant creature type, which like which none of these have one. Um, like at the top, at the top of the card when it says like a creature, like it says it would say like spider up there at the top. That's what group used to mean, but they changed that because that is it was weird and everything.
Yeah, so the overlay still has the, the old version. Yeah, these pack mentalities don't don't look like good cards at all. I remember last time whenever we played this deck, we basically weren't drawing pack mentalities. Like we just never drew them. Every single one of these games we're drawing like one plus and we're never able to cast any of them. So that that means it's a card that should just be like a one or a two of, not not a three. I may not play the whole 10, 10 games of this deck. May have a shorter video with this one. I like our chances in this game though, like our, our hand's good. Everything except Let me show you. Um, never pack mentality. Them. Yeah, no, we that is true. We've we've had just basically hands full of spells. We've not had very much luck. Like, just always draw the second pack mentality. Every game. Yeah, there's seven there's seventeen spells, twenty-three units. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Yeah, we had turn one Omen Hawk, we still haven't drawn like the second creature to buff by it. Back mentality. Let's go. I love the taste of the action. 
it. <laughs> Alright, these pack mentalities maybe not so great. There's our second unit. Why'd it have to be that card? Why couldn't it have been any other unit? Why'd it have to be that one? Our Mage Seeker Thresh deck is very good. This is not this has not worked out. Last time we played this deck, we did pretty well with it. But like I said, we weren't drawing we basically weren't drawing pack mentality at all. Like we went, you know, six, seven games like without drawing it. And we drew a whole lot of Averos and Hearth guards that made our creatures bigger. We haven't we haven't done that at all. Like basically we just drew the other half of the deck last time. Because we had a we had a winning record last last time we played this. I, th I think it was either, it was either I don't remember if it was six and four, seven and three, or eight and two. Is one of those? I kind of feel like we went seven and three with this deck. Yeah, it's the exact same deck as last time, yeah. We played a lot more, you know, we played a lot more Omen Hawks last time, a lot more like Babbling Bjerg into Hearthguard or Vladimir. We haven't cast like a Vladimir like at all. It just hasn't been our time. This game we're looking pretty good. You know, we had that avalanche that really helped. You must be Lord Vladimir. And Vladimir. Suffer. Who's ready to I'll trade the Crimson Disciple for either of these cards.
so far we've had three units survive damage as far as Vladimir is concerned. Um, they definitely play like, you know, Brothers Bond. Yeah, not too surprised there. Get rid of the Vladimir. But that's okay. I guess this isn't a May, so I shouldn't have led with the Omen Hawk, because then I have to kill the Omen Hawk just to play this thing. Brom. Of course I'm ready. How can Brom help? Got something for him. I hope this works. So do they have decimate to kill me? Forty-two. All right. Well, sometimes it doesn't work out. Um, yeah. This basically, I thought like mentality would be like the the finisher that we need, but like I said, didn't really work. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna go to the next deck now. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything more to say about it than than what we were just doing. Like it's. This is definitely a a deck where you need your cards to line up for you. Like you have a lot, a whole lot of situational cards. You know, have you know, like all you know, so many of these cards. They can be very good. They can also be very bad, and so you, you need them to to line up and be very good for you. Um, I wonder how, how, like, I wonder how we did the last time we played this this deck. I should. Uh, I should figure that out because yeah, it was the was the same list. Um, but it definitely felt like that we we did a whole lot better the previous time. No, I guess okay. No, never mind. No, actually, we we finished. Uh, we were actually five and three, and then lost the last two. So we actually finished five and five. Okay, well there we go. So we actually finished five and five, but we were five and three and lost the last two games. Yeah, not a lot of five strength units for for Bjerg because so Bjerg basically will always you know like it it draws you know Vladimir, uh, or Awaken or Hearth card for you. Um, yeah, Assessor is needed. I think the deck would have to change to be an Assessor deck. You'd probably have to change it up a little bit. You know, you want more Hearth Guards um, and everything, but you could probably make turn it into... I, I mean, you can like you can definitely play an Assessor deck with these, these colors. Um, but, oh well. Um... All right, so those of y'all on YouTube, hope you still enjoy the video and still learn stuff, even though, you know, we, we didn't have the best record. Um, you know, please hit that like button over there and leave a comment. Both of those would be, like, you know, I appreciate both of those. And uh, like I've been saying, the uh, donation decks are $10. If you want your deck played on stream or if you have an idea for a deck that you want me to, to make and play on stream, it's just 10 bucks. Donation link is down below. But thank you so much for watching some Crimson Mentality, and I'll see you for the next video.